Welcome to Anawasito's Village. My name is Matthew Halpin, an artist from Australia. I've been living in Crete now for 10 years and have just recently fallen in love with this magical place. We're doing a vlog once a week just to show you how the daily life in a traditional Cretan village happens. I hope you enjoy. Today we're doing a look at the, the Anawasito's Folk Art Museum. The museum was donated, was purchased um, from a local, by the local cultural association. And then with the help of the locals, things from the village were gathered to, 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 supply, to fill the museum up. So let's have a look. Here's a, a carving describing the build, the house was built in 1880. And then in 1995, the, the Cultural Associ Association purchased the house. And then in two th the year 2000, the, the renovation of the house started. When you first come to the village, it's a bit tricky to know how to get the key, but generally the door is actually open. And if the door isn't open, there's a really sweet lady that just lives to the, the left of the front of the house called Maria, and she has the key. So traditionally, the old houses, the downstairs of old houses was used more as workshops for producing a lot of food and wine, sometimes often animals. This is the, this is a, a traditional winemaking place. You must have seen a million times before. The grapes go in here and then the locals stomp around with their feet and squeeze the juice out of the grapes. And then the juice from the grapes goes down into one of these. This was apparently lined once. At the moment, it's, not, it, it's gone. But um, it would have been a quite a, a clean place for the, for the juice of the grapes to go. This, um, these vessels, I can't remember what they're called. Pythos, what are they called? Um, pythos. Pythos. Pythos um, have been around for 2,000 years. 4,000 years, the Minoan, um, the Minoans had them. Um, so they were used for storing flour, water, um, raki, wine, all sorts of things. Wine obviously is stored in these kegs. Here's some traditional boots, which to this day are still used and made, handmade. They last forever. The, th the stone on the floor is a local stone. These were used to grind the wheat. This one has metal and this one has small stones. This was to separate the wheat from the chaff. I think it's called chafe. I might have to check that one out. Okay, and now the other room is more of the kitchen. Because there was always rats in the past, and there still is rats, but we've got a bit more under control these days, food was often stored off the ground. These vessels were oil, I guess this would have been for baking, probably bread. This is a very standard way of holding water in the house. These for sifting flour. And obviously this was the main cooking spot for the house. In, in, in England they called it pottage. Most food would have been cooked in a, in a one pot. Oil lamps, that's universal. This is an interesting one. They, um, this is like the kitchen sink. 
but it was used for all sorts of purposes, even having baths. <laughs> Um, this one was used for many purposes as well, often put down and rolled. You could make pastry, flour, no, pastry from it. So that's the downstairs finished. Now upstairs where the people mainly lived. Here's more of Maria's amazing flowers. Mm, perfect. It's often the staircases were never on the inside of the, the older Greek houses. They were always on the outside, which makes it a bit difficult when you want to renovate one in the present day. But there's ways around it. So this would have been the main entertaining area. The locals have donated everything in this in this room. Everything, all the materials, the fabrics are handmade. Well, the, the, the fabrics were hand woven and then just lace, so much lace, so many hours in it. Over here, there was a quite a famous man called Badavas who wore this outfit. He was in the Cretan resistance during which war was that? Uh, Second World War. Second World War. Very lucky to have that. These baskets are still made in the village, handmade. They take many, many hours. They were used for many different reasons: collecting olives, offering. Offering food to guests. It's a bath basket with many purposes. Every Greek, every Cretan house had one of these. This is the special cupboard to show off your most expensive things, which generally didn't get used. So there's, a lot, there's still a lot around. It's an international thing. Those machines, they last forever. Okay, now into the, the room that was more for sleeping. Again, so many amazing handmade fabrics and objects. This would be the dowry. The dowry box. I love these old beds, but they're too small for me. And a uh, uh, um, mill and loom, washstand. A lot of these things are very universal. Here's the Greek alphabet. I, I guess it must have been maybe used as an educational tool for children. Anyway, that's just a quick introduction. Look at the, the museum here in Anosites. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.